today we begin the reading of the 13th chapter of the Gospel of St. Matthew. And we are going to continue here uh, listening to that, reading to that chapter during this month. The last, uh, the end of that chapter uh, will come in our last weekend of this month. And all though that, that chapter is about parables and how Jesus Christ interprets the kingdom of God with those parables. And today we have the beautiful, wonderful parable of the sower. Mm, and I want to mm, begin with what I think is the key elements to understanding that parable, today's gospel. And I think we can, uh, those key elements are actually three verbs. The first one is hear or listening. The second one is understanding. And the last one is produce. So you can see how uh, here is many times mentioned in today's gospel. That's the key, actually, to be able to understand the word of God. Or as St. Matthew says, the word of the kingdom, which is the words that Jesus Christ uh, pronounces to reveal the kingdom of God among, among us. So if you say, if you follow that, uh, mm, sequence, listening, hearing, understanding, and produce, you are going to, uh, in my opinion, find the real meaning of today's gospel. So I propose to you to go to this, uh, to each one of the soils, four, four soils, and try to apply those verbs and see what's going on in each one of the soils. Ah, but before, before I, I, I start going into the soils, it's very interesting, today's gospel is the only, only parable that Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ himself explains. We don't find in another parable that Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ explains that. Today is the only one. Okay, so let's go with the first soil. What is going there? Uh, Jesus Christ says that the sower goes out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and birds came and ate it up. So let us try to interpret with the key word listening. What happened with that people? Those people, or whoever is represented by this soil, actually doesn't listen to the word of God. And because of that, is not able to understand it. It means, in that context, understanding, it means disregarding the word of God. It's not paying attention to the word of God. Uh, it's not putting maybe the word of God in the center of our heart, in the center of our lives. And if we don't do that, even if we hear maybe words, we cannot understand it and we cannot produce any fruits. The word of God is going to be a void. It doesn't have any effect in each one of us. By the way, the word of God has power. And this is beautiful about uh, Jesus Christ, about uh, the word of God and how Jesus Christ describes in the gospel the word of God. That word has power by itself. But that doesn't mean that that word doesn't need our cooperation. Even if the word of God has power, that word needs each one of us. That word needs our attention. That word needs you to be there listening carefully, trying to understand it. If we don't do it, the word of God is not going to have any effect. The first soil is those who, do you have any? Now I'm going to ask you because I really don't know, I didn't check before. There is some difference, difference between listening and hearing in English? Yes. Yeah, what is the difference? Listening is when you, if you're listening in a way that you want to understand. 
Okay, so it seems that we can say that the first soil is those who just hear the word of God, but not listen to the word of God. Let us try to make that difference. If we say that listening is more to be attentive to what the other is saying. That's what you are trying to say. So let us use hearing and listening in that first soil, because I think uh, we, every single language has a difference like that. It's funny we have some different, different verbs, mean different things. So if hearing is only that words can come into our ears, but we just hear like noise that doesn't, that doesn't af don't affect us. That's the first soil. Hearing noise you want, different noises. Maybe sometimes it's not noise, it's like music, beautiful. But it's not making any effect, effect here. So that soil is not going to change anything. I mean, his life, her life is not going to be affected by the word of God because that person is just hearing, not listening. It's not paying attention. Are you paying attention? <laughs> <laughs> Let us go to the second soil. The second soil is beautiful. Some fell, this is how Jesus Christ describes the second one. Some fell on rocky ground where he had little soil. It sprang up and once because the soil was not deep, and when the sun rose, it was scorched, and it withered for lack of roots. <clears throat> this one is hearing the word of God and is listening to. So this one put that word in the center. That person was able to be or to allow the word of God to affect his or her life, if you want. Later, Jesus Christ is going to explain it. So let us use his explanation. What happened? What is the problem with that second soil? He has the listening, and maybe he had the understanding, because he was paying, that person was paying attention, but something wrong came to that person. I'm going to try to find the second so soil in the explanation of Jesus Christ. The seed sown on rocky ground is the one who hears the word, hears the word and receives it at once with joy. That person receives that word because he or she understood the word with joy, understanding it. Joy, there is joy. But he has no root and lasts only for a time. When some tribulation or persecution comes because of the word, he immediately falls away. So there is no root because, I don't know how to explain that, is the person who maybe is like on fire. Uh, the best explanation I have is maybe those who go to a retreat, if something happened in his or her life and they are on fire. They come back to the parish trying to change everything at once, right now. When they see that it's not so easy to do it at once, but that takes time, they start to, that flame, that fire begins to extinguish it little by little. It was like that. And when they just disappear. Hmm. And maybe we don't see that person anymore at church. That can happen to us. This is like the conversion, the first conversion you want that we have. But there is no discipline and many different exterior things come into our lives and is going to affect our continuation in the listening, hearing, understanding the word of God. That second soil is maybe the person who has many gifts, the gifted people who want to do many things at once, 
but they lack discipline, I think. So little by little, again, they extinguish. Their flame begins to extinguish little by little until there is nothing. Let us go to the third one, the third soil. Some seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it. Let us see the explanation that Jesus Christ gives for that third soil. The seed sown among thorns is the one who hears the word, but then worldly anxiety and the Lord of riches choke the word and it bears no fruit. Two things happen here. Like the second floor, excuse me, the second soil, these people listen, hear, and understand. But the, here is not like this a flame is, becomes to extinguishing because they don't see any result maybe. Here is the worldly anxieties and riches, wealthy. The problem here is that we begin sometimes, that can happen to us. I said at the beginning that the Word of God has to be in the center of our lives. And when I'm saying that, we can say in our heart. And the Word of God has to stay there all the time, all the time. With that, this third soil, the problem is that problems in the society, in their life, began, began to, little by little, put away the Word of God and that anxiety takes the place of the Word of God in our hearts, little by little. And it's very dangerous because we cannot detect that easily. Anxieties, whatever it is, problem that we have. And we are starting little by little putting that in the center and the Word of God is going out of that center every day, a little bit, a little bit. Or maybe if whoever is focused only in riches, maybe, wealthy things, material things. And the entire life is focused on that. So little by little, that is going to take the place of the Word of God. It's going to remove it from the center. So that person is not going to produce any fruit either. It's very dangerous. It's the distractions that we find every single day. And the last one is the simplest one. Jesus Christ just says, with the last one, but some seed fell on rich soil and produced fruit, a hundred or sixty or thirty fold. And the explanation, but it's very simple too, but the seed sown on rich soil is the one who hears the word and understands it. Understands it who indeed bear fruit and yields a hundred or sixty or thirtyfold. This one is the one who hears, listens, understands, and produces fruit. So keep, whoever keeps the Word of God in the center of his or her life. That's the invitation for each one of us. And I want to finish today's homily quoting the Catechism of the Catholic Church in the paragraph 2705. In that part of the Catechism, the Catechism is talking about the three different prayers that we have in the Catholic Church. The first one is the vocal one, when we pray saying words, like when we pray saying, Our Father who, who, who are, Hail Mary, whatever, okay? We pray. We come here, we can pray too, vocal prayer. That's the first one. There is another one, meditation. We don't say any word, we think. Meditation. And there is another one. We don't say anything, we don't meditate anything. We just contemplate. The mouth, you one, and the mind are like shut down. And it's just contemplation. This is the perfect one, if you want. And the first one is just the mouth working, and the second one, the, the mind, if you want, and the third one is just like the soul rise up to God, 
and there is a shutdown, as I say, of the mouth and the faculties of the mind. Okay, when the Catechism speaks about the second one, here, what he sa it says, Christians owe it to themselves to develop the desire to meditate regularly, lest they come to resemble the three first kinds of soil in the parable of the sower. If we don't meditate the Word of God regularly, we can become one of the three soils in today's parable. So my question and the invitation is very simple. How often do you meditate the Word of God? How often you go and read the Bible? And not only read, trying to read like mechanically, but listening to what God is telling you in that text and trying to understand what God is asking you to understand. If we don't do that, we are not going to produce any fruit and we are going to become one of the three first soils. Just like that. There is no magic in here. So let us pray today that we may be able to be Christians who really meditate about that, the Word of God, that we try to understand it, and that we may, uh, we may be able to produce fruits every day. Please stand.